top story here at 6 o'clock. A crime victim fails to stop the execution of the man who tried to kill him. Right now at the state prison in Huntsville, 41-year-old Mark Stroman is strapped to a gurney about to die by lethal injection. He murdered two people in the wake of the 9-11 terror attacks, angry after losing his sister in the Twin Towers. KBU's Xander Horansky is live now at the state capitol where a small group is protesting this execution. Andrew. Tyler, today in federal court, and as you can see here at the Capitol, people pleaded to stop Stroman's death. One of the people pleading was even a former victim, a victim of his. In the end, however, a federal judge denied the appeal, claiming the law did not give him the authority to intervene in the execution. In the weeks following 9-11, three shootings in Dallas are inspired by hate. Rice Buyan, an immigrant from Bangladesh, is shot twice in the face, nearly killed because of the color of his skin. I could feel a very cold air flow through my spinal cord because he's here for me, not for the money. Now Buyan is an unlikely accomplice, trying to save the life of the man who tried to kill him. On Wednesday, he was with a team inside of Austin's federal courthouse, fighting to convince a judge to postpone the execution of 41-year-old Mark Stroman. Surveillance video shows Stroman entering the Dallas gas station where Buyan once worked. He had already killed two other clerks who he thought were Middle Eastern. Stroman later told jurors his rage stemmed from 9-11 and that his sister died in the collapse of the Twin Towers. That jury convicted him of murder and sentenced him to die. Nine years after the attack, Stroman sent Buyan a letter. It was little more than a page. In it, he said he was sorry. Buyan said he had already decided that he wanted to meet his attacker. Yet it was just this year, he said, when he learned that under law he could. The state told him it was too late. And with Stroman on death row, Buyan sued the state, claiming his rights as a victim had been violated. I'll look at him in the eye and I'll tell him that you are another human being like me. And I never felt angry at you. I don't hate you. You are just another human being like me. Happen to be, you did a terrible thing out of your anger, out of your ignorance, but I don't hate you. Paula Curland of Houston knows how critical a meeting can be. On Wednesday, she came to the federal courthouse to support Rice Buyan. Years ago, she met the Austin man who murdered her 21 year old daughter. She said that meeting gave her back her life. When it was presented to me, it was an answer to a prayer. It was something I'd been trying to do for years. Curlin said she would like Buyan to have that chance too. Now again, we're learning that Stroman is scheduled to die within the hour. Earlier today, one of Buyan's attorneys told me that they will continue to file appeals right up until his execution. Reporting live from the Capitol, I'm Andrew Horansky, KVU News.